All right, so this time we're going to do a video review, and uh, I'm curious about your feedback. Please let me know if that is okay for you, um, if it's better, it's worse, you prefer written, you prefer pictures, and so on and so on. So I'm open to uh, feedback. So you are giving me this guy as a single shot here, so as we play it, I think it's totally fine. Even out of context, I think you got him following the beat, reacting, and I like your... Um, What's it called? The pupil, pupil changes there, and it follows where the guy is going. I think this is all great. Yeah, I really like it. Okay, let me pause this quickly. All right, I'm back. I just have to get my pen sorted out. So yes, again, this is all good. So let's actually move on to the other one. So, so far, this seems good as well. The music here. I think this is all working really well. This all works. So you made the changes of uh, these sections going in and down and compressing more and adding that contrast between going out and in, which is good. And it looks like you were, you're not planning on having it go out, go this way, and then as it turns, have the head actually move this way, right? With the body and that guy and everything kind of turn this way. Again, it's definitely would change the shot. I think if you are done with your whole thing and you want to revisit one or two shots to see where could you improve things, I think this would still be okay for contrast. So it's you go from here to here. All right, with the head looking this way. But the rest all works and you're asking for these guys. So this one's a bit unclear only because, I mean, I'm assuming you're going to move the hands, they're going to be moving. So he's following, like it's the focus on this, or is it the focus on this? Or is it by any chance focusing on this? You're gonna have to make sure that in your animation it's gonna be clear um, what the B wants to do. Was at this point here, it's just circling around. There's no real emphasis, and then here it's the same thing. It just goes up. So just make sure that once you animate this, we we know exactly what the focus is of this shot. And then as we move along, he's looking in. That is fine. This might be a bit long. Again, I mean, if you have him come in and he might squint his eyes a bit more, but as of now, it feels a bit long. I think you could probably cut that scene a bit shorter. And the idea here is he is a little bit freaked out, coming back. I wonder, to me, is given all the previous shots where he moves around, is he is, you know, he had his hand, his hand out, and that's a massive, long arm do that again something like that right and he had to stick out and then the bee was coming out and swirling out of his arm there was a lot of motion there and I'm curious if at this point he would be a lot more um, irritated and nervous and and mad so that the movements here that's fine but this I feel like could be a bit stronger acting wise this could be also a bit stronger that works. So you almost have to have a couple of those for him to really get out. This feels a bit small compared to what happened before. Let's see. That is fine. And I do like the contrast of the bee at this point doing a flip and then coming back. Again, this seems a bit more like, this seems very small. This little wave that he does in his arm feels more like, oh, I'm just annoyed. But not like this is. I don't know how many times this B is back, so I will in this shot make the moves definitely a lot faster. So, watch the whole thing, it all seems fairly small. This works, I mean, this is all clear, that's okay. This feels a bit weird, only I'll this is okay, but then once he moves, this is a fairly big move it's a twin pose except except for the fingers here but there's something about there's something about closing it and opening it like that I wonder if you would have this arm right stays like this and it's only this arm that opens up and as the shot continues he could have an open you know, an open palm here, maybe with his arm there, with that arm still out there, right? 
that makes no sense, right? But <laughs> this guy out here. But basically, he, he takes his wrist and flips it around. I'm not too sure if just this acting moment here works with both arms uh, going out there. It feels more like there's some guy with a gun here. You know, it's, I don't know, it's not quite connected to this guy. I'm not too sure about that. But his reaction at the end, I like. It feels like, uh, like he's satisfied. He's happy. Finally, I, I did it. The bee is dead. That works. And that is it. These are my thoughts on the show, uh, shots overall. So uh, let me know if that makes sense. Let me know if the uh, video review made sense. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.